Hyundai, Hyundai, Hyundai. There is so much good stuff coming out of that Korean automaker. This is one of them. This is the Tucson, their best-selling model, and it now shares the new design language that the Sonata and the Elantra has. Whether you like its parametric dynamics, which is a fancy way of saying these creased origami looking folds in the sheet metal, is completely up to you. Take it in. Let it imprint into your brain and process. And tell me what you think about it in the comments, won't you? I happen to think it's a little bit busy for my taste, but I'm not potentially buying it, you are. I tend to be a little more nitpicky about the inside since I'm looking at that more, so let's take a look. The interior feels more restrained than the exterior. It's pretty tech forward, but still gets some buttons. One knock against the interior, there's no volume knob, there are no buttons to actually adjust the audio system, just these haptic things. You know, I thought we kind of figured this out with the Honda Civic. Uh, to me, a volume knob is pretty key, but hey, that's just my opinion. Good seat comfort here, interior personal room and cargo space as well, and you don't sacrifice anything by way of cargo space if you opt for the hybrid. I know, because this is what that is. The Tucson gets a lot of options when it comes to picking the powertrain. And it needs to because it's going up against a lot of big swingers in the Mazda CX-5, Toyota RAV4, including that formidable prime plug-in hybrid version, the Honda CR-V, and VW Tiguan. Wow, that is a lot of competition, but let's get back to the Tucson. So all of the gas-powered Tucsons come with one engine option, and it's the 2.5 liter four-cylinder, the same one that powers the Sonata. And I have to tell you, it's not actually that wimpy with 187 horses. Fuel economy numbers there impress. You take a bit of a hit if you opt for the all-wheel drive, which will also hit your pocketbook for $1,500. But that's a good add-on if you live in a place with weather. The Tucson comes in a hybrid, which like I said, I am driving now, and there is a plug-in hybrid that's coming any second now. Out of the gate, the hybrid definitely makes me want to restate my claim about the standard powertrain. Compared to this, yeah, it feels a bit wimpy. The power here, thanks to the 1.6 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, paired to an electric motor mounted on the transmission feels mm, mm good. That's quick. The hybrid Tucson comes with a six-speed automatic transmission instead of the eight-speed that you get on that 2.5 liter. But I promise you, you're not going to miss those two extra gears with the instant torque that you get from that electric motor. If you are looking for a little bit of a boost, you get these paddle shifters. You can downshift if you're going around a turn or if you're trying to get onto the highway or out of a sticky situation. As for the ride, the suspension tuning feels appropriate, if a little on the firm side for the hybrid. There are four drive modes, including sport and snow, and this is interesting. If you're driving on dirt or snow, you can lock the power to the front and back at 50-50, so you get consistent traction. Gas mileage on the hybrid is impressive with 38 miles to the gallon. Now combined with the engine and the motor, you're looking at a 500 mile range, which is great, especially considering that the gas tank on the hybrid is smaller than the one on the combustion engine model. Fun fact. The base gas engine starts at about $25,000 and includes great features like an 8-inch color touchscreen, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, LED headlamps, and SmartSense safety equipment. The SEL gets you extra safety features including smart cruise control and heated front seats. There is a convenience package for the SEL that comes with a bigger 10.25-inch touchscreen and wireless charging, as well as a hands-free liftgate the inline for sporty types zazzes up the Tucson with exterior and interior performance trim, but no more actual power. Uh, that's a big disappointment. The base model on the hybrid comes in at $29,050, but you can ratchet that cost up to about forty dollars if you add a lot of the bells and whistles on the hybrid limited trim. The plug-in hybrid, both the SEL and limited versions don't have prices at the making of this video. And there's your reason to subscribe to the KBB YouTube channel. 
Hyundai's Tucson has been around since 2007. If you've got one of those and you're ready to drive into a new one, you can head to kbb.com and check out the value of your now classic SUV. Want to trade it in and set yourself up with a new one? We can help you there too. I know I say this a lot, but this Korean automaker is doing a lot of really interesting things. And the Hyundai Tucson is just another reason in a long string of them to check them out.